Hi guys, it's Heidi. We had such a great time at the art gallery last week that we've decided to go back. Juliet has organized to interview the director of the art gallery and has a list of questions for him. I hope you'll learn something too. What makes you so passionate about art? I just think it kind of makes you think about the world in a different way. So you've got to use your imagination and people are really creative with what they do and it's always very different. Um, so it kind of changes how you look at the world. What made you decide to do art and need the art that needs you? Like what? Uh, last year we had an exhibition called Paradox, which was all about street art. And as part of that exhibition, there was a virtual reality experience in it. And heaps of people liked that. And they wanted, they all said that they really loved how interactive it was. So we thought, well, how can we make a, an experience that's the same for them? And so Art That Needs You, or Art Loves You, is all about that. So it's people interacting with art. What piece of art do you like the most? At the moment, with the exhibitions that are on the floor, there's lots of them that I like for different reasons. So I really like Squid Soup, which is the submergence piece downstairs, all the lights. Um, because I think it does all those things I talked about before, like lots of um, people kind of lose themselves in it and they kind of let go. Uh, I really like Healing Pool, which is the one that you walk through. This work behind us, Language of Light, because um, I like that it combines smells and sounds and colors, um, but also that you have to kind of move through it so you're not just kind of looking at it. I really like Supernature, uh, which is the weaving forest, because I think it reminds me of when I was a kid and we used to play string games. Um, but this is just a giant version of that. Yeah. I like lots of the works. I can't single out any. What was your favourite colour in the language of life? Ah, that's an interesting question. I had the strongest reaction to orange, but it wasn't because it was my favourite, it's the one I didn't like. Um, so I don't know if I had a favourite though. But when I spoke to the artist, she said that, because everyone's been filling out the little sheets to say which one they had the strongest reaction to, and uh, most people reacted to blue. That was the strongest one, yeah. That's all done. That's all, folks. Thank you.